is very full and time to get there. Uh, this is Mr. Fiebig, old friend from the RV. It's a pleasure to meet you here in Armenia. As a true Armenian, whose gene and hospitality is several thousand years old, I am indeed happy to host you here this evening. This is especially valuable meeting, taking into consideration difficulties of travel that we have these days and the problems with tourism that uh, surround us in, in this period of time in the world. Uh, Armenia has many gravity centers. It's ancient history, it's culture, it's nature, it's food. Uh, but for me, people are the true gravity of Armenia. And uh, hopefully you, you will see uh, this in the next several days. I get this acknowledgement from many foreign friends that is in Armenia and they and it's actually a bit surprisingly for us because we are living in this uh, environment and we sometimes cannot acknowledge the, what, what our people do and how they behave them, them, themselves. And many of my friends say that uh, Armenians are especially, especially, uh, of course, have a very unique approach to children to guess and of course uh, I wasn't I wasn't uh, just uh, I have this uh, true uh, hospitality uh, acknowledgement uh, because many of Armenians and I think that every Armenian is very has has, has a very uh, is very hospitable and, and our hospitality is in our agenda and we really want our people to uh, our guests to have uh, to have a good time and good experience and to be safe and to to be comfortable uh, and, uh, and yeah I think that you will see this this next several days. Government for me also is truly committed to uh, to drive service standards up uh, and uh, and it's on its bed to provide better customer service to, to its tourists and visitors uh, that come to Armenia. Uh, we are also investing heavily in infrastructure uh, and, and here I would, uh, I would add that uh, we spent uh, a lot in bringing all these historical and cultural places into better standards, uh, but also we invest heavily in people to teach them how to serve uh, tourists and to serve customers. In infrastructure, I would uh, also take into, into consideration that, uh, that our tourist uh, region uh, usually covers several countries. Uh, especially Georgia. We are now working to, to uh, build a fast train between Yerevan and Tbilisi. And I think in the next several years time, in two, three years time, we will have better connectivity between Armenia and between Yerevan and Tbilisi. Germany is the third largest tourist partner country of Armenia. Uh, and we are very happy to have this opportunity uh, to show games of Armenian people, culture, history, and of course, tastiness and flavor of Armenia. I encourage you to relax these days uh, and to enjoy Armenia's hospitality. Thank you and bon appetit. Thank you, Minister. Uh, dear Mr. Fibik, your colleagues, uh, I hope you are not very tired from the trip. We are pleased to welcome you uh, to our beautiful country. Uh, despite the old challenges caused by the pandemic, uh, nowadays as tourism fortunately recovering after a long period of pause is the right moment to reactivate our partnership. Our cooperation with the has started in 2019 during which 
I had an opportunity and pleasure to meet Mr. Fibic and his team in Armenia. Today, we are happy to host the Army delegation and German business representatives. Seeing all in Armenia is a sign that our partnership is getting stronger as the years go by, and this is very important to us. Uh, Europe is one of our priority markets, and our activities and strategies are directed towards in, uh, increasing the visibility of Armenia in European countries. Uh, the new flights from Europe, as well as our visa-free policy for Europe, European uh, citizens, uh, is highlight, highlights this approach. In 2019, the highest number of tourists from EU who chose to visit Armenia were Germans. And we aim to develop these ties and we will be working actively with the German market in the coming years. My colleagues from the Tourism Committee have been working hard on planning very insightful tours for you. I can promise you will enjoy every minute of your stay and explore the many unique experiences and fascinating destinations of Armenia. Our goal is to give you an idea of wonderful tourism products that our country can offer, from adventure and outdoor activities to cultural and gastral tourism and much more. We aim to offer a maximum insight on the touristic potential of our whole country within the short few days, which will be followed by a day of conference and uh, B2B in the area. So thank you all for being with us. Enjoy your time here, enjoy our beautiful country, and we'll come in Armenia. Honorable Minister, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for your very kind words, Minister. Um, the uh, workshop we are having here, the uh, destination forum, the idea started uh, some two years ago when I was here with a, a small group of uh, smallish tour operators and we all have been uh, very impressed and uh, finally over the moon about what Armenia has to offer. And we thought we, we need to tell that in our source market in Germany and bring that to people uh, very close what uh, Armenia means and uh, what we can do, what we can do for our clients uh, by telling them what Armenia has to offer. And that was the idea and uh, some two years after uh, we are here, the 60 professionals out of the market uh, if you count, you, you don't count 60 at the moment, but uh, 25 are still in the year, uh, and, uh, and that is because uh, the Austrian Airlines had a real challenge yesterday, and that is maybe the reason uh, why not everybody is uh, wearing a proper suit like I do, and not everybody at time, uh, because uh, all the nice suits are in the air as well. So, uh, what, what, what I believe is uh, the status is Armenia is, is not a, a, a hidden secret anymore when it comes to tourism, but uh, I believe, and that is the intention of the workshop we are doing, there is much more potential, and for that reason we are here. Uh, and uh, to build up, to create a workshop and uh, an event like this, uh, uh, on Twitch, you, you can't do that on your self, and for that reason, I, I would like to thank you, Minister, and the Tourism Committee, and the GZ, uh, to for the fine cooperation, uh, for the assistance, and for the partnership uh, on that event, and uh, the close relation we are having. We are really appreciating what what you are doing, your support and uh, your great uh, hospitality, uh, we appreciate it very much and uh, that is what I wanted to uh, uh, express and we are very proud to have you tonight here. We will see each other in a press conference, I, I believe uh, the day uh, after
to tomorrow, and uh, that is a very tough personal commitment, and uh, thank you very much for that. And I, I, I would like to, if you don't mind, I just learned that uh, German uh, is quite familiar to you, and, and maybe that helps when I'm now switching over uh, to German in order to get you some practice. So, uh, meine Damen und Herren, äh, auch nochmal in unserer Sprache herzlich willkommen. Schön, äh, dass Sie es alle geschafft haben in unterschiedlichen Kleidungsstilen. Äh, und ich weiß, was das für ein Käse war und äh, dass Sie hier mit großer Energie das äh, entsprechend auch hier mitmanagen und äh, das zeigt, wie professionell Sie eben auch äh, sind in dem Bereich, wenn es ums Beraterweisen geht. Also toll, dass Sie da sind. Wir werden äh, ja äh, am ich glaube, Donnerstag ist das auch einen ganzen Tag, ähm, äh, um Inhalte besprechen zu können. Darum will ich da jetzt gar nicht drauf eingehen. Wir sind nur ganz herzlich willkommen heißen. Wir werden uns jetzt für zwei Tage trennen und dann uns dann wiedersehen. Ich glaube, dass Sie relativ äh, begeistert und euphorisch von den Touren zurückkommen werden. Da freue ich mich drauf, Sie dann entsprechend wieder zu schön zu sehen. Schön, dass Sie da sind. Ich wünsche uns hier ein paar tolle Tage. Ich glaube, wir haben es alle verdient, auch mal so ein bisschen rauszukommen nach der ja, nicht besonders lustigen Zeit der letzten anderthalb Jahre. Schön, dass Sie da sind. Ich wünsche uns alle einen schönen Abend. Just a few words from me, Schott Merzkamp. My name is Oliver Graue. I'm the manager of FOB. This travel is so the second in the bunch next to uh, the FV. Of course, I'm very, very happy to be part of uh, this Armenian trip, and for me, it's not the first time. The first time when I was here it was in 2004, 2005, uh, when my wife worked here in Erevan for, for one year, because I visited her, and uh, the second time, 2011, and uh, 2004, I immediately fell in love with this country and uh, with its exciting culture, exciting history, and the fascinating nature and the, the bomb-hearted uh, people in the country. So, uh, of course, my main task is here to report on this Armenian trip uh, afterwards for FOB, the, the German B2B travel magazine. And, uh, yeah, I only have a few days after, uh, after the trip, so um, you should read the report of the next issue of the economy. So that's all I want to say for today because uh, the TV show was set uh, all the, the important things and we have plenty of time to exchange ideas to speak uh, in the next few days, especially of course on, on the workshop day, on the first day. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to a very interesting and, and very nice trip in the next two days. And, I say thank you, Jordan, and yeah, I think we're going to have a shot too. And thank you very much. Peace out.